Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at sides of an angle associated with a unit circle. So let's talk about the angle itself first. In the coordinate plane, meaning our x and y axis, we are going to create a unit circle. But in that unit circle, we have to have some initial side of an angle and a terminal side. So as we're looking at an angle, initial side is obviously where it, an angle starts. We're going to use an arrow to represent a direction. And then we're going to have a second ray representing the terminal side. So we're going to be referring to quadrants. There are four quadrants um, in the Cartesian coordinate plane. And we're going to look at the initial and terminal side. So the initial side is going to start right here on the positive x-axis. So we're always going to start here. And for our positive angle, we're going to rotate around. And then when we stop, that's going to create the angle. So there we go. We're going to start here on the positive x-axis. And we're going to rotate. And we're going to stop right here. Now I like to think that of this kind of like hands on a clock. So this hand stays constant and still on the x-axis, and the other hand rotates to the angle. So let's look at a unit circle and where these angles, which quadrants these are going to lie in. Let me shrink this down just to here so it's on the screen. Now our quadrants, remember, we number them 1. That's quadrant 1, 2 three, and four. So these are the quadrants we're looking at, and we're going to see the placement of these angles. So we're going to start on the x-axis, and we're going to rotate two pi thirds. So we've learned that, that the position over here to the left on the negative x-axis, that's the distance of pi in radians. The distance Halfway there would be pi halves. The distance down here at the bottom is 3 pi halves. And the distance all the way around the circle is 2 pi. So now we're going to start rotating to 2 pi thirds. So right here we're at half, and we know 2 pi thirds ends up over here, not quite to pi. So we're in quadrant 2. So I've drawn the angle so you're going to rotate the arm to the position and then you're just going to extend it now i'm just estimating i know that's not perfect but right now we're just trying to get into the right quadrant so now let's try drawing seven pi fourths okay we're going to start on the x-axis and we're going to rotate seven pi fourths well right here would be if we get all the way to pi that's four pi fourths and that's 5 pi fourths, 6 pi fourths. So 7 pi fourths is going to land over here in the fourth quadrant. So that's going to be quadrant 4. Okay, now let's look at pi fourths. Pi fourths is a small angle. That's going to end up just being half of pi halves. So that's actually going to be right here. I've just drawn that in red. So it's going to be in quadrant one. Okay, we're going to look at one more. And the last one is just a little bit different. Okay, let me erase this so we have room to write it. Okay, the last one we're going to look at is negative 7 pi 6. Now, what does a negative do? So a negative angle means I'm going to rotate in the opposite direction. So anytime I have a positive angle, I'm going to rotate counterclockwise, anytime I have a negative angle, I'm going to count, uh, rotate clockwise. So I'm going negative, so I know I'm going this direction, and I just go to 7 pi 6. Well, 6 pi 6 would bring me to here, and then I'm going another pi 6, so that's 7 pi 6. So my terminal side will actually end up in quadrant 2. And that's how you figure out your direction with a positive and negative, and then where the terminal side ends. So what if 
An angle doesn't end in a quadrant. What if it ends on an axis? Well, that would be called a quadrantal angle. So let's look at some angles that fall at, that are quadrantal angles. So starting on the x-axis, if I rotate up to what we are used to as 90 degrees, that's just going to be pi halves in radians. If I rotate over to the negative x direction, that's going to give me pi. And then if I rotate down all the way, three quarters of the way around the circle, that's going to be three pi halves. That one is also quadrantal. And then if I loop all the way around back to where I started, that's going to give me two pi. Now that's quadrantal. Now this position at two pi also can be called zero if you're not, if you're just going straight out and there's no angle rotation at all. So those positions are all considered quadrantal angles. Now I have one more slide to show you about standard position and positions in the unit circle. So a standard position is when its vertex is at the origin, which is what we've been drawing. Its initial side lies on the positive x-axis, which is what we've been drawing. And then positive angles go counterclockwise and negative angles go clockwise. They start at this initial side and rotate. They end at the terminal side, starting at this initial side, rotating and ending at the terminal side. So I hope this video has been helpful for you to understand positive and negative rotations of angles and what quadrants they fall in.